Greetings friends, it's me, Wayman29, and uh, I haven't been on for a little while. My computer hard drive fried. So, I got this laptop, and uh, the video on it seems to be a little bit better. But, I just wanted to jump into the drama and make a response to the Yoke Up Ghostbuster video. Where he's calling everybody Satan and, and, and whatnot, and accusing Jesus Freak of being supported by demons and all that other stuff but there's a term in in some Protestant uh, belief systems theology uh, it's called backsliding and based on the actions of Yokup um, I think Yokup may fit this theology of backsliding meaning that um, he may no longer be Christian but is just posing as one. What is that, you say? Friends, it doesn't matter what you believe, it doesn't matter what you read, it doesn't matter what you say, because it's all turned to vanity if you're not doing. So, if you're not benefiting the kingdom of heaven, if you're not progressing the kingdom of heaven, if you're not putting the message of Christ into action in your everyday life, within your community and the people around you but instead you're cor creating chaos divisions and corruptions uh, you, you just might be part of the other side and you and you might not know it if you know what I mean um, because friends Jesus I don't believe ever called anybody Satan that was a sinner you know who he called Satan? One of the twelve. Peter. In the text, get behind me Satan, when, when Peter was um, talking, trying to talk Christ out of going to the cross, making the ultimate sacrifice, which is something that people uh, very rarely do today in their communities and bettering the lives of people. Very rare. They talk, but very rarely do you see them out in the street. There are some. Uh, who, who are very positive, doing a lot of great things. More power to them. God bless them. However, there's probably hundreds, thousands, times more that don't. That don't. And it's all in action, friends. So, I got thinking, what biblical verse would I be able to use to prove this backsliding theology, which is probably clear uh, clearly what's going on with Jokup. I mean Jokup. And I myself find myself many times in this state. However, at least I know and I can do something about it. Uh, what I really pity are the people who don't know. So, we're going to read this part right here. This is Second Peter 2.19. 2 Peter 2.19 While they promised them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome, and the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them but it has happened unto them accordingly to the true proverb the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her own wallowing in the mire so we talk about the swine flu um, I think we got our own roaming around on YouTube, friends. So, remind Yoke of this uh, text. Keep it in mind, and, and that's a perfect example on why you should study the Bible and actually know what it says so you can do it rather than just tell everybody about it. So, take care, friends. And remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.